All right, so let's start on a little advanced part of our LinkedIn. What we covered last time is basically, I believe, a few basics of LinkedIn. That is basically a search over here, how are we going to search, and then how to overcome the search limitations. And that is something by keeping every keyword under the double quotation and the space before or remains as it is and space after or goes off. And that's how we'll be able to go up to 45, 50 keywords. Yaragu. Uh, Shiv, I had just two short doubts on whatever you covered. Can I ask now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so thing is in, in going... weekend or uh, evening no, no, batch? No, no, evening batch only. <laughs> So whatever you covered so far, like this, uh, um, that uh, overcoming the limitation of search, right? In link, then you mm -hmm. told us the trick. So that trick, when I use that search string in the direct search here, see wherever you type us. Java, okay? So there, if I put, it was not showing me, but when I go to all filters, then put it in the job title, it was showing me the result. Any, any- uh, Were you there uh, in the previous any... session, just before this? Yeah, I was there, yes. Okay, we put here also in direct. It was working. So maybe you have to look uh, whether it is neatly written or not. Like every single keyword has to be there in the double quotes. When space before or remains as it is, space after or goes off. Uh, okay, like I, this. Actually, I put the exam thing only, whichever I felt correct one. I just put it. it in was... pre version LinkedIn, sometimes yes. it acts, it won't work, but you'll have to keep okay. giving it a try. Okay, it, it's same way. There is no difference, right? I mean, it should work. Same no way. difference. Okay. Um, another simple question, Shiv. If at all, by chance, if I give double spaces in this, uh, um, like, uh, uh, nested search or anywhere, double space instead of a single space, mm -hmm. any, 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 any way it takes in a wrong way or like it is proper? No, it won't understand. It, it, it breaks the search there. Oh, by, mis by mistake, if I press double space, it's like uh, it will break. No, it breaks the search there. Okay. It will start giving either a false positive or it will not work you only. Okay, thanks. Uh, can you repeat the last point here? It might give you false positive or overall it won't work only. If we give a space. Double spaces. Oh, extra space. I mean, by mistake, you press double times uh, space bar. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's I say we search for Java. And then we sorry, I, I joined late today. I didn't know today is a class. Uh, sorry for that. Um, you you are going for a long time, like uh, more than an hour. Definitely. Oh, okay. Um, just can you give the uh, headline? What you did today? No, no, we just started. We have we just, just restarted the class. Oh, thank you, thank you. Very good, thank you. Okay, so please try to join on time. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. again, there are thirty. So thirty no one, no one uh, in the morning, uh, the evening batches are uh, uh, there. Huh? Yeah, but please join on time. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, you were saying something? Anand? No, no, I was just telling you that the actual topic is going to start now. Okay, sure. Sorry. So, yes, really, you have doubt? Raghu? No, sure. I asked my doubt. It's clear. Thank you. Anyone else with any more doubts? Okay, let's finish it off today. 11 till 11.30, it would go. So, thanks, right. 11.30 to 11.45. Okay, so we search for Java. Let me just clear all search results first. So that's how the sessions are, which we cannot actually break. We need that three to four hours at a stress. So let's see, we just search for Java. Because in weekend, we have covered completely at a stress and it was fantastic. So once I click on Java, I have jobs, people, posts, groups, companies, products, events, courses, schools, services, all filters. For people discovery, I'll be clicking on people. Once I click on people, we get the list of people. Now, additionally, if I click on connection, if I click on first, then I would be able to see 
first degree connection candidate. For first degree connection candidate, I don't really have to um, wait for them to accept my message. Rather, I can directly message them. Okay, similarly, for first degree candidate, if I click on contact info, I'll be able to see their mobile number and phone number, whatever they have updated over here along with their email ID. So the rest of those phone numbers or social uh, accounts might not be visible, but minimum what is visible is when we have connected, then minimum is email ID what is uh, visible for every single candidate and also contact info that is about uh, LinkedIn profile URL. Phone number, additional social URLs that maybe might not be depends on how candidate has given the visibility like email and then uh, LinkedIn profile over here. These are the minimum things that we'll be able to see. All right. So again, if I just come back. So that's about the first degree connection. Some, sometimes sometimes even email ID is not visible, sure. Even for first degree? Yeah, yeah. Then they would have blocked it. In the settings, you have it. Who should be viewing their email IDs? Uh, if that is the case, then they would have blocked it. Okay. Okay. Any further questions on first degree connections? No, okay, then comes second degree. So results. So once I go to second degree, these are all the people who are directly connected with my first degree network. Like let's say if I just go to my first degree network, there are 11,000 people. But as soon as I go to my second degree network, there are 548,000 people. That means this 548,000 people are in a first degree connection with my first degree connections. This 548 people are the friends of my direct friends. The first degree are my direct friends. Second degree are friends of friends. They are that they are directly connected to my 11,000 connections. That's reason in second degree, uh, I'm getting immediately increase of numbers. That is 11,000 to directly. Uh, 48,000. That's about the second degree. Then once I click on third degree, then these are the people who are connected to my friends of friends of friends. So again, 91,40,000. These are the people who have directly connected to the uh, friends of friends. That means that 540,000. Whoever is a 540,000 in my second degree connection, these are all the people who are connected with 540,000 people directly and these are my third degree connection. So I can search up to first, second and third degree connection. Beyond third degree, if I want to see like let's say Dheeraj, he's still my second degree. Reset, show. So most of second degree is also coming. So here's my third degree connection and there are 119 connections this person is having and we don't have any common connection, but we have a common company that we worked in past. Okay, all these are third degree connection with minimum connections. And all. Cap Gemini, again, we have one company in. So maybe based on my profile, what are the companies I've worked based on that, it is trying to show some result, but it would not show all the third degree profiles. Uh, it's like 50 50. Sometimes it may show, sometimes it might not show. So, any questions on first, second, and third? No, sure. Okay. So, uh, so one question. 
So this linked in member will come. No, that is beyond third degree, is it? No, no. Like I mean to say, some people. No, some people will not be able to see only. It's coming like LinkedIn member. Is it like their privacy setting or is it a beyond third degree? It's beyond third degree. Okay. 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 So that's about first, second, third. Now let's say I just click on, if I click on here. So here we have people, jobs, post, companies, products, groups, services, events, courses. So last time we covered about people. How do we go about the people discovery part? Location, current connection will give about the connection. Location will give which are the location I want. And then current company, uh, which are the company I want, I can give. So wherever we have a drop down, we can go up to how many additions here? Anyone team, wherever we have a drop down, how many additions we can go? Let's say current company. We have a drop down. How many companies we can add? 100. Five zero. Up to 100. Up to 100. So that? This uh, uh, um, LinkedIn is operationally performing well. It can go beyond 100 also, but the search will keep breaking. Similarly, if I just go all filters, and here I have connections, then here I have connections of, here I have followers of, then locations, then current company, then past company. Let's say past company, I just give two companies. Again, here it comes. So here I'll be able to see the past company also. When I see the dropdown, how many companies I can enter here when I see the drop down like this? 100. Up to 100 companies, what we can see when we go for drop down like this. Again, I just go all filters. Even it could be location, current company, past company. Let's say if I want to go for a school also. So wherever I have a drop down, I can go up to 100 schools. I can add all premium institutes or I can add all diversity based colleges. So that's one way of identifying the diversity profiles. Otherwise, that's about the drop down. So industry also, if I'm if I want from the IT services and consulting companies, I'll go for IT services and consulting companies. If I don't want IT services and consulting, other than selecting IT services and consulting, I'll try to see in which other all the other industry there can be a startup or there can be a product. Something like business consulting services, no IT services will come. Let's say transport logistics supply chain. Yeah, there can be a startup or there can be a product around this. Retail apparel fashion, yes, there can be a startup, there can be a product around this. Food and beverages, yes, there can be a product startup and uh, a product around this. So that's all, I'll just select about industry. Let's say if I want services companies, I'll go for services and I'll go for business consulting services, professional consulting, professional services, IT services. Or let's say if I just type A, I'll get the list over here. From here, I'll just go for business and consulting services, all those things. So that I get only from the services companies. Similarly, if I want, similarly, if I want from the product companies, then I basically go and see the industry. I would not really suggest that but try is what i can tell and then profile language it's used it's utilized when you are searching for european countries but otherwise just not required you might add marathi or something like that but not really required no 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 person writes so there are two different filters one is a profile language one is a spoken language so understand the difference between two filters Profile language is different than the spoken language. Profile language means person has written in Europe. People write their LinkedIn profile itself in Spanish or Dutch. Otherwise, in Japan also, people write most of their people write their LinkedIn profile itself in, in Japanese. So that's when it is highly supportive in these three countries, but not rest of the country. In rest of the country, people write their LinkedIn profiles in English. Okay, and open to this you can leave it. Similar service categories. Uh, now the service categories, okay? So there is a difference between industry. Industry is basically checking from the company industry, what the company industry belongs to. Let's say if the candidate is working on a certain company, it is taking a look at, let's say if I just click on IT services. Though we click Amazon or something like that, but their past company might be some IT services companies. So let's say if I just go to this profile, that could be a good way to check for current product companies and past service companies. 
Okay, so currently Misho, Mitra, Amazon, source bits. Okay, so let's see if I just come here. Okay, IT services and consulting. Though we have searched for, we, we got people from Amazon or Mitra, or all the product companies, but if we see one of their companies was exactly a IT services companies. So it is looking for the candidate company, what kind of a company the current candidate has worked currently or in the past. So that's where uh, this industry is coming in from. Again, I just go all filters. So that's about the industry part. Now, similarly, here if I see services, this is so industry in which kind of an industry candidate is working means in which kind of a company and the company listed which kind of an industry. So that is the industry part. Here, service category, let's say candidate writing on their profile that they're providing interview preparation or career development or coaching and mentoring. These are the candidates you're getting who are actually providing. Uh, interview preparation or anything like that, providing services, interview preparation, resume reviews, all those things. Again, here, providing services, interview preparation, providing services, interview preparation. All these are the candidates, career development and coaching. All these are the candidates as an individual, they are providing these services. And what category of the services like coaching, mentoring, interview preparation. And again, we can select up to 100 services. And this will work here as a or. It will not show the candidate providing both. Like if you see here, services, career development, but there is interview preparation is missing. It's not that selecting both, it is working as a or. Similarly, past companies, it's not that it is selecting both, it is working as a or. Similarly, school, 100 schools, not all, not, we are not going to get a candidate who has worked on all the 100 schools. It will, it will show us either of one of the schools. Similarly, service category, either of one of those categories. All right, and then current company, you can go up to 100 companies if you have a list of companies to target. Past company, you can go up to 100 companies. Colleges, if you have up to two colleges list, you can go. Profile language, pro bono, service categories, that's it. So all this is a drop down part. Whatever you are selecting here is a part of a drop down. Any question on any drop down features on people discovery on LinkedIn? Any question? on drop down features all these are drop downs if you see here these are the drop downs so i have a question mm -hmm. the profile language i didn't understand sir how how is profile language, language ignored language in india you don't have to worry about until unless you're working only for some european countries then worry about profile language otherwise just ignore okay yeah, Raghu. Uh, My Shiv. doubt is. Yes, Raghu, please carry on. Okay, thank you, Shadish. So, Shiv, actually, this uh, industry, right? So, is it a candidate will fill this or based on their current working company? No, the company, company has shortlisted what domain they belong to, what okay. industry they belong to. Okay. Candidate Mr. working in the company and company uh, SEO person has mentioned this company belongs okay. to this industry. So, okay. it is searching... Okay. Definitely a candidate, but it is getting from the company's industry. It's no candidate has no relation with it. But okay, candidate means, would have worked on those kind of a service industries or those okay. kind of industries. Okay, that means there is no uh, no possibility of uh, wrong information. I mean, like whenever I find something, somebody in that industry he is working in that company for sure. Current or past? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Harish. Yeah. So coming to here, you said the drop downs follows the or logic. And in all filters, we have keywords also, right? That can, that that can come use there. First, that'll come there. First about drop down. Any doubts on drop down? No, no. This is clear. Okay. Anyone else? Any questions on drop down features? Uh, Shiv, for each drop down, we can select up to 100 options, right? Up to 100 options. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? We're good? Yes. Yes, Shiv. Okay. Yes, Shiv. Now, going to next. Comes to a keyword session. So, here in the keyword session, let me just reset this everything. So, 
So anyone who is appearing for the first time, it is benefited for them as well, but complete focus. Don't distract yourself with the rest of the noise, complete focus. So that's all about the drop down. Now coming back, here we have a keywords. So in this, as a rule, as we mentioned, free version of a LinkedIn, how many keywords it will accept, how many operators and how many keywords, anyone here who is not a back, part of a batch, evening batch or a weekend batch, I wanted answer from people in a morning batch. How many keywords, keywords will it accept here? Six keywords and five, five operators. Six keywords and five operators. Ganga? Jyoti. No, I'm asking Ganga. Ganga, Bhuana. Five, uh, five uh, operators and six keywords. So five operators and the six keywords. Okay, yeah. let's say I just wanted to go for So we search for software engineer or software developer or software programmer. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So software engineer, let's say one more spelling mistake will have. Okay, now this is sixth operator and seven keywords. So immediately it says, uh, the search is not formatted correctly. So in that case, what we need to do, we just search for Java and then say people and then say all filters, scroll here. Then we apply a formula where every operator Every keyword gets into a double course. And what are the space before or remains as it is and space after or goes off. So in the interest of time, I'll just come here. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. So let's say here we have software engineer in a double course. So space before or remains as it is, space after or goes off. Every keyword gets into double quotations. Space before or remains as it is, space after or goes off, and every keyword gets into double quotation. Space before or remains as it is, space after or goes off, and every keyword gets into double quotations. So space before or remains as it is, space after or goes up, and every keyword gets into the double quotations. Even if it is a single keyword, it has to be there in the double quotations. Okay, copy. And then I just go to all filters. And and then search. Now we have gone way beyond that five operator and six keyword. So to overcome the search limitation, what we did, we kept every single keyword in the double quote. Even if it is a single keyword, we kept in the double quotes and space before or remains as it is and space after or goes off. So any doubts, any question on this, how to overcome the search limitations? Anyone here? No, sir. Okay. So that's all. So in all these keyword places, you can overcome the limitations like that.
Okay, now first way of searching a diversity candidates is definitely I just give a first names. Then second way of searching diversity candidates is definitely I can um, give a school names, something like I can just go girl, I just type and space A, copy. So whatever India-based schools yeah. are coming. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the diversity, uh, the first name, how how possible to give your first name? Uh, how many number of like uh, first name you can able to give? And uh, how do you, you find can give up to 46, 47 using this trick. Okay, but uh, name like uh, uh, depending upon the local area, like how? I'll come there. Okay, yeah. so like this, if you select all the schools, okay, girls A, girls B, girls C. If you don't even know the names of schools, you can just give girls B, girls C, girls D. Keep getting it and you'll be able to get the list of these schools. And whatever the kind of a school. All right. So one way is basically searching with the names. Second way is basically searching with the um, institutes, women-based sure. uh, colleges. Sure, these uh, location, I mean, sorry, these uh, names, what you have given, I mean, for searching girls A, girls B and things like that, it is not location-based, right? Location is different filter altogether. No, no this, uh, you are looking for a girls' school that will be all over uh, India. How is that? All over the world. I'm picking all up only India-based schools. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So like that, you go up to 100 schools and you'll be able to find all the uh, diversity candidates like this. All right, so let me just reset this. Then can I just come to all filters? Okay, so here I'm checking all from the drop down all the list of women based schools. And similarly, let's say if I'm feeling that is way too much, then again, here is the keyword as it works as a open search. Here I can just give. or any other things that you know. Okay, still we get all the diversity candidates. Around three to four percent we get non-diversity because they would have taken some initiatives in those particular uh, diversity related schools. But otherwise, pretty much we're getting all the diversity search results. For this title, uh, what is the limitation of the keywords that we can use there? If you break the if you go with the rule, then mm -hmm. it is only five keywords and six operator. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to break that rule by applying this formula, yeah. where space before or remains as it is, space after or goes off, goes off then it can goes up to 46, 47. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anywhere here, if you want to break the rule, it can go up to 46, 47. Similarly, names also, you can give all the women based names up to 46, 47 by using the same formula of uh, giving every keyword in the double quotations, space before or remains as it is, space after or goes off. So any doubts, any questions on this, how to use this part, which is a keyword part where we can give a Boolean. We can give a Boolean in company, we can boolean, give a Boolean in last name, we can use and or not in first name, and or not in title, and or not in school, and or not in company, and or not in last names. So any doubts here, we are good. Uh, Shiv, one question. So, if you select people, okay, then if you select the school there, like list of school you selected, right, by giving mm -hmm. girls, CA girls, we like that. So, mm -hmm. then if you give location, uh, for example, I want to search in a small city, uh, let me say like Udupi, okay. 
So if I give that city name here, will it give me the schools from that particular, I mean, where the filter will, uh, location filter will be on the people? No, first or... give location. So okay. think how LinkedIn algo is working. Okay. Okay, now let's say first I select school, which is giving from all over the globe. Yeah. It is giving me Java. And if I'm selecting a school over here, okay, A, B, C, like that, then okay. the database is taking from all over the globe. Right. Right. And then yeah. after that, if I'm selecting OP, okay, then it is jumping from one database to another database. Okay. No, this location priority will be given to the people staying in Udupi or the schools in Udupi. I mean, how that works in any... all the priority, like the in a previous session we covered, how okay. do we identify the past companies where we selected the current company and we mm -hmm. gone into the advanced searches and we set uh, we have seen the past companies and we are we started getting those past companies. Then again we used not. Again we okay. added. Okay. Then again we get another four. Again we used not. And that's how okay. we came here and use all these companies okay. so that we know which are the other companies. Like mm -hmm. we use Java, not Infosys, not Wipro, not TCS, not Cognizant, like that. Now, okay. if I use this formula, that means first this is getting excluded and which are the top five working at that particular company, what Harish is working at with Java. Those list of results are coming. Similarly, here if I go, whichever are the Top schools matching my search criteria. Only all those things are coming. Now let's say if I just give a location as a UDP. UDU. What is the spelling? UDP. UDUP. Okay. Now once I give a location, Java and UDP. Okay. First database gone to the Java. It's got the database of the candidate who are working in Java. Second, it gone to UDP. It's shown the list of people based out of ODP. Now, mm -hmm. if I come to all filter, it will try to prioritize whatever is matching to these two things. Okay. So now if you see here, schools, Manipal Institute or all this, these are okay. basically ODP based yes. closed by schools. Right. VTU, uh, Namam or Manipal, all these are ODP based closed by institutes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let's say I just type girls A. So again, it is showing me from all the various countries, but not really anything from the OP side because it's the data is not related. It is taking a Dakshin Kannada district schools. Still taking Dakshin Kannada based or anything like that. So that's how the data is tracking in a backend. But okay. if I first select school, then after that OP, I might not end up in getting anything. Uh -huh. So that thing we need to know. Okay. Okay. Okay, so any other doubts in a keyword search? So you mean to say we have to select the uh, search, all search, and then uh, select the location. And then we can uh, go for the field. All the time, first comes people, second comes location, third comes title, then like that, however you wanted to get structured. Okay, but got it. You give rest everything first, after that the location, mm -hmm. you might not get the results. Got it. Good. Thanks, Chef. Okay. Any yeah. doubt on drop down or any doubt on keyword search? Chef, uh, you you are doing a search on top, right? Java. You mm -hmm. can give uh, you can give uh, you can apply the same logic there also that uh, before and after uh, or it works I on top. You. No, no. Uh, the keywords, you know, we are uh, using the maximum number of keywords, right? By mm -hmm. using. Uh, by removing the space be after I have. Okay. Now, is that applicable on the uh, the topmost search? Java. Example. Java or microservices or something like that. No, we are uh, bypassing uh, the LinkedIn, uh, you know, Boolean uh, search, right? Searches, yeah. Where we are using beyond uh, six or op five operators, right? Mm -hmm. So, what Anant is asking, will that be working in that? Uh, uh, top uh, search area also. Here also. Yeah. Anand, yes. very there in previous session, we pretty much ran this over there only. Focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Sorry, sorry. 
no okay. we use Sorry. the aws uh, one example with gcp and all of that if you remember and no, no, no. the logic applies for everything okay. yeah yeah it applies for everything focus sorry sorry okay so any doubts on drop down as well here in a keyword search how to overcome the keywords and how to go with the drop down searches no doubts okay so now let's say you got a requirement from your hiring manager it might happen they are there in your the connection it might happen they are not there in the connection okay now let's see Instead of searching for Java, I search for recruiter. All right, then location I keep. Uh, Harish, where are you based out of? Bangalore. Bangalore, right? Okay. So let's say now you're searching for recruiter. And you give gave me the requirement. So if you know what, I have a requirement for recruiter. I can be your vendor, uh, or you can be my hiring manager working in the same company. Either we both working in the same company, or maybe you're my client. Okay. And I know that Harish is an interviewer, or Harish is a hiring manager. And Harish gave me the requirement for recruiters. Okay, to search for recruiter. What I do first, I click on first. I search for recruiter then people and then location. Then I just see the connections of first connections of because uh, Harish is connected with me. So definitely I can go with the connections of just in case if the hiring manager or interviewer you know who is not connected with you, send them the connection request. If they accept within 24 to 48 hours, well and good, so that you can search from their connection. Now, let's say I'm searching from Harish connections. So, Harish, any possibility that if I send you these profiles, that will end up in hiring these people? Yeah, definitely, because I know them. You know them very well, okay? Yeah. So, it's only recruiter and salespeople network is junk. 50% is junk on LinkedIn. But for technical people, it's very mean. They start their connections from their schooling, from their colleges. Then they build their connections once they start joining the companies, which are the companies they join. Then again, which are the networking event they attend, all that thing. Their connections are very mean. It's only recruiter connections, which is kind of a little messed up. But there is possibility that these people, if I start sending, is there a possibility that you will end up in hiring? Yes, there is a possibility, definitely. Okay. So similarly, imagine if it is a technical role, if it is a technical candidate, sure, who must question, sure. department and hiring manager. Sure, I have a question. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what I mean, like my thing is like, how is it uh, uh, make sense? Because Harish already know these people and he will take himself, right? I mean, uh, he is not uh, taken. He is lazy. Oh, that way. Okay. <laughs> he's lazy. He has not taken. But he will <laughs> say duplicate. But he will huh? say duplicate and that I'm already connected. See, they're hiring managers. I'm saying technical people, they're hiring manager or they're interviewers. So here I'm saying they're hiring manager. They're technical people or they're the interviewers. So there's a high probability that hiring manager is interviewing or that interviewer is interviewing someone whom they already know. So someone whom they already know, if they say duplicate, okay, client will say, no, we got from the vendor first. You should have submitted in the portal earlier. Before you, it is coming, because if you have access to ATS, you take a look at the candidate profile, if it is existing. If it is not existing, it is a non-duplicate for you. If HR also shortlisted and forwarded for the further round of interview, it is still a non-duplicate. When you know that the interview is happening, it is still a non-duplicate. Correct. Yeah. And no HR will come back after the interview saying that, hey, you know what, that people know each other, so we can't give anything. Have you ever experienced like that? No. Yeah, if we don't have proper agreement with the company, we'll definitely face that. So it's like that. So even though, so what happens in this process, when you start sending, the candidates from the hiring manager or interviewer's network, 
the probability of the candidate getting selected is much higher because there's already a bias set. Now let's say I get the list of these candidates and I start sending to Harish. Though Harish says, hey, you know what, he's my friend only. So as soon as Harish says he's my friend or I know this person, the rest, all the other interviewer hiring managers start asking about how is this person. If the person is good, if there is a good relation between Harish and that person, 50%, 90% hire has happened there only. It's only 10, 20% or 30, 40% what person has to prove in the interview. Yeah, Nand. So uh, here, uh, this Lalita's, uh, Lalita Gangadhara, uh, uh, you could see first connecting, first connection. Okay. So that is the first connection of Harish or uh, it's you? She's a common connection for me and Harish. For me also, she is first degree connection. Okay. But, but, so does but, that make uh, sense? Hmm? Okay. Uh, how, how about this Amaresh? On top of that, Amaresh. Amaresh is second. Harish first degree, my second degree. He's connected to Harish, but not to me directly. Wherever you see second, second, they're directly connected with Harish, but not with me. Wherever you see first, they're connected with me and they're connected with Harish as well. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Do I okay. have a question? Um, mm -hmm. uh, is like, uh, is it may uh, mean for uh, you are having less connection or you are having more connection depends upon the results may vary? Absolutely. Depends on the number of connection. Result may vary, but it doesn't mean that to increase the number of connection, you're sending the connection request to whomsoever possible. Don't do that. First of all, have the okay. connections mean. So now if I have to give the example, Look at the recruiter's network. Recruiters has 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 connection also. But it is not mean. And that's the reason when they post something, it will not get trended that highly versus any software engineer or software developer is posting something which is common. But that post is getting trended really high because their connection is very mean. Their network is really known to them. It's only recruiter who has a random network. It's only salespeople who has random network where we recruit and salespeople start sending connection requests and start accepting the connections for each and everyone whoever is sending us and start sending a connection request to whomsoever possible. Start syncing up our Gmails, this thing, that thing and all. Now we reach out to thousands of candidates. We do mass mailing, bulk mailing, all those things. We reach out to thousands of candidates. Sometimes it gets auto synced with our contacts, Google contacts and all. So all that thing by default it comes. That's where recruiter though have the number of connections more. It, it doesn't mean that those connections are mean and those connections really know recruiter well. No, not at all. So that's reason if, if you have to go for the LinkedIn connection strategy. Now I'm kind of nearing to my 30,000 connection. And if I build to, if I have to build a connection strategy, because if I go beyond LinkedIn, I will not be able to accept anyone's connection. They will be able to follow me. But if I have to send a new connection request for my clients or for my candidate, I might not be able to send because maximum 30,000 is a connection. So what I would do, I would go, I will search, I'll see that whichever of the people are not really interacting or are not really engaging with my post, are not really mean in my network, I'll start removing those connections. So even if you hit that 30,000, you'll end up in connection removal strategy. Rather, I'll say, Go with connection improvement strategy where you start adding only the people that you work with or that you know very well. For a candidates, start adding only those candidates that you have a requirement. Let's say you have a full stack requirement. Start reaching out, do the head and thing. Start reaching out with the connection request. That's the reason of the request, the, the reason of connection. And if those are the candidates who are accepting, that means they know that Ganga Devi is a recruiter. At one point in past, she has reached out to me with the some offer or some uh, opportunity. So tomorrow, if you post anything, at least you have that mean, mean, mean connection who is actually know you very well. So that's definitely a connection strategy that we have to work on. Even if you hit that thirty thousand, doesn't matter. It has to be a mean. Okay. Uh, so while while receiving the connections from others, uh, if we don't know means. Uh... Should we take a look the at the profile. Take a look at the profile, and if you see that this profile will 
make sense to be in your network, then add it. Okay. Let's say if you're doing an IT hiring and if you're getting a lot of connection requests from non-IT people like sales, marketing, business development, then you might not have to accept it like banking people or accounting people. You might not accept it because you're doing tech core tech hiring. Okay. You're doing for so hiring. I'm trying, to, uh, uh, trying to get the connections with the recruiter, uh, those who are uh, working in my local area. So will that be a good one? That will be a good one. Any recruiters? See, being a recruiter, having a connection of recruiter, definitely it will give you the better, because as soon as you connect to 100 recruiters, every recruiter has 1,000, 1,000 connections. So 100 into 1,000, immediately 1 lakh connections will become your second degree network. Okay. Thank you, Shiva. But be very mean. If you're building a network connection, LinkedIn connection now, this have learned it hard. But I'm, tell, I'm telling you for free, if you're building your network now, anyone who is building a network now, be very mean. Try accepting a connection request only from the people that you feel that they can add a value to your connection strategy. Similarly, try connecting to only those people. If you think that these are the kind of a people that you need in your connections as a client or as a candidate or as a recruiter. Okay. okay so that's too. about connections of, let's say if I just go for Harish connections, now, let's see if I know this. Yeah, Nita. If this 30K limitation, is it only for first level connection or all three level put together? No, no, first level, only first, first level connection. And is this only for uh, the free version of LinkedIn? There is no premium version for the connections. Okay. Whichever the version you use it, it's maximum 30K. Okay, so irrespective of the version, right? Irrespective of the version. Okay, thanks. Okay, so that's about connections of. So let me reset it. And there's a high probability of your candidate getting selected. If you know the hiring manager, if you know the interview panel who is interviewing, who is hiring manager, and if you're trying to uh, search with their connection. Similarly, if I just go, and definitely there can be a duplicate also, because if they have gone with a strong network of networking and referring from their own network, then there is a possibility. But if the hiring manager do not really have enough bandwidth or don't really know the process of all these things, then definitely we can get the use of it. Similarly, follow us off. Okay. So connections of are connected to Harish. Followers are again either connected to Harish or following Harish. Again, 15 results who are following Harish. So Harish, these people might be directly connected to you or not, not really sure, but they are following you. And there's again a possibility. What happens is as soon as you send the connection request, by default, you'll start following the person. And let's say Harish did not accept the connection request from that people, but still that people are following Harish. That means they're still interested in Harish content or you know, getting network with Harish. So there's again a possibility that you're ending up the same use case of identifying the people who might, who Harish might know. Uh, Shiv, I got a doubt here. Usually whenever uh, uh, we send a request or people send us a request, they'll become our followers, right? And after accepting right. the request, they'll still stay in followers only, right? They'll still stay in followers. If, the, if you don't accept the request also, they'll stay in follower. If you accept the request also, they'll stay in follower then we have to get more results, right? Usually. Means? Means, I mean, say, followers of Harish means I have to get more results, right? That's what I'm asking. I'm just thinking. That because I have question. connections more than 10,000. Hmm. That's where. So are these the people your first degree connections? Um, no, no, not at all. So maybe it is only, it is excluding the connections and it is only showing the followers of. If yes, then I'll show, I'll be able to see Harish Sam Rajan, but not you. That's a different Harish. Yeah, no. Okay, so it is excluding the connections and it is only showing the followers. Okay, okay. All right. Yes, got it. So when I say connections of, it is showing only connections. And when I say followers, 
the any which is connection is doing that job. So connections, all the connections it is excluding and it is showing only followers. All right. So I'll just take a pause. Any doubt on all these filters, connections of followers of how we can use it, location, drop downs, drop down searches and text searches over here. Any doubts on this? Uh, so the connection is uh, really uh, people connected, but follow means uh, they are not connected, but uh, they just only uh, follow their post. How, how it, it works? What's the difference? Uh, how do I tell you? Uh, so connections, they are connected with the person directly. They are their friends. Followers. Maybe they're not their friends, but they know this person is doing a good job and they're just following. They're seeing what this person is doing. That's so it. So with connecting, we can follow the person. That's what you're saying. Don't get confused. No, no without connecting, simple. you can follow. Yeah, correct. Connecting, you can follow. Without connecting also, you can follow. Uh, so, but, uh, uh, Shib, so what uh, is the purpose of following uh, just uh, without connecting? If they have a premium profile, then we'll be able to see. If you go to the candidate, you have a follow button here. You can click on follow. You just go to any person profile. You have a connect or if you go to more, you have a follow. You can just go here. Either you have a follow here or you click on more. Connect is any which is here. So you have to go to candidate profile and see. If follow is not here, if the connect is here, you have to click on more and you have to follow. And by way. following, we will not be able to send any message, right? Only by connecting, we'll be able to send a yeah, message. Yeah. Person. And, we, and you cannot make unfollow also. Yes, so that's the, the biggest follow. difference. Okay. You can, you can unfollow. No, that's not working. How do you do it? Uh, unfollow it. That's it. Go to no, candidate you know, profile and unfollow. Yeah. Let's say he's a person, he's in my Once first division. Follow, unfollow will come. More following. If I click it, I'll unfollow it. Oh, you can do it. Okay. Unfollow. Oh, sorry, sorry. You can follow, you can unfollow both. All right. Any doubts, any questions? Is it also right to uh, assume that once you're connected to somebody, you have access to the connects of that person, but when you're only following, you don't have access to the connects of that person, right? Is that a right understanding? Maybe. I did not get much in depth of that. But yeah, maybe. Uh, so without okay. following, you cannot do the connections. Correct. See, follow means it's only that when you're following that person and when you open LinkedIn, if that person has posted something and if you're online, it, it has a different strategy altogether. The way it comes on your feed, if you just go to home, Okay, there's a feeds, right? All these feeds to appear on your LinkedIn feeds, it has a different strategy altogether. And if you're following someone and if they're posting someone, that's how you started seeing that feed. But it has a different strategy altogether. Don't get into that madness of increasing of followers or anything like that. All right, it doesn't have to do anything with your recruiting strategy. But yes, it has to do something with your search strategy for sure. Okay, I'll take a break. Any doubts, any questions on drop down as well? This thing? A keyword so, search? One doubt, sir. In this connection and follower, can we say in simple words that all connections can be taken as? Don't get into, don't get into the connection and follower stuff at all. Just see, in case if you know the hiring manager, see the connections of the hiring manager and search or see the followers are of hiring manager and search. That's it. Don't go beyond that. All right. Any further doubts or questions on drop down and keyword search? Uh, drop down is 100 uh, limit and uh, keyword is 50 limit or they are also 100? No, no. Drop down is up to 100. Keyword is up to 46, 47. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's only drop down which is up to 100. Here in the keyword, it is up to 46, 47, not even 50, 46, 47. 
okay how to spot candidate who is looking for new opportunities one is that open for so recruiter having a premium account i understand because they are continuously connecting with the candidates but why would candidates have a premium account because they are continuously looking for a job either they are giving a green batch like this with open to work but otherwise if they have a premium batch because linkedin sells them a premium version of linkedin in such a way that is basically called job search linkedin in such a way that if you upgrade to premium batch will show your uh, profile on your recruiter search on top of the recruiter search like you will see open to network also and he has a premium batch also because he has got that premium version job seeker premium version so that the linkedin will say if you buy this then we'll list your profile on top of the recruiter search and that's how you spot candidates who are open for new opportunities all right i'll just think about any doubts on how to spot a candidate open for new opportunities on free version of linkedin or else you can also use a keywords like looking for or anything like that so no, you, you I... said only that open to work uh, that with the green uh, one what else uh... open to work or someone who has a premium batch like this oh premium okay 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 or someone who has written they are looking for jobs okay looking for job opportunity looking for actively looking for actively searching for this is one of the best way directly giving a search if anyone if he has missed the nested search classes please go through the recording that is really really important it is live on linkedin also it is available over there either go for that or either go for recording or in past also in youtube number of time i have taken the session on nested search and updated the recordings over there just go to my channel and take a look at the nested search it is really important and most of us has failed most of the questions in nested search you people who were is cleared with 80% most of them has cleared only with the previous questions that we covered in level 2 and the questions of how do we go about creating a google custom csc but again sharing the csc that doesn't have any marks that is wherever you have a text you have to enter the text that doesn't have any marks so i just made it little easy but yes as i mentioned whoever is cleared with 80% they are the people who was actually cleared with the help of level 2 but when it comes to the level 3 learnings of nested searches most of us has done the mistakes uh but if you want to get strong on nested searches i would definitely recommend go through the videos once again and um practice now if you see here the last result of love the last page is also looking for new opportunities looking for new opportunities actively seeking actively looking actively looking actively looking immediate join up immediate join up actively seeking here is a nested search for the same thing i'll share it for free of cost now but not now at the end of the training i'll share it but till then i wanted you to practice all right so that's about the nested search and that's about the people discovery any doubt on people discovery how to identify or spot candidate who are looking for new opportunities uh hey shiv a uh, one question uh this open to work badge mean as a candidate i can close the badge and uh, you know hide the badge and show uh, there is an option show only to recruiters so when i select that uh only the recruiters who have a premium recruiter profile would be able to view that right so if i don't have a premium recruiter profile i cannot view those candidates who have hidden the badge right no this is open public badge this doesn't have to do about show to the recruiter or don't show it to the recruiter show it to the recruiter open for new opportunity is not a badge it's a feature so there's a difference between this batch and the feature if i just go here so here i have an option i am looking for job if i click this the green batch will come it doesn't have to do with the whether the person has a linkedin recruiter or not or i am hiring it will get into that uh, wallet one with the hiring one so it is again public 
but let's say if I went to jobs and Okay, there's somewhere a setting where it will show that you are seeking an opportunity, you are actively seeking an opportunity. If you select that, then only in the LinkedIn recruiter under the spotlights, that part will come. Okay, top picks for you, sourcing specialist. So there's a difference between that batch and there's some, some, somewhere there's a setting actually where we'll be able to see uh, what you say that uh, I'm open for new opportunity. I'm actively looking for a job. That filter is available in a LinkedIn recruiter. But this batch doesn't have to do with that feature. Yeah, Anita. So Shiv, my uh, understanding is this batch comes up when you click the option uh, that open to network and open to work can be seen by anybody right. on LinkedIn. Anyone Anybody on, on the LinkedIn here. And this the is... second thing comes, the batch doesn't come, but recruiter can see when you click the option, only recruiters can see. So the yes, two only LinkedIn people. certified, only LinkedIn with, with a recruiter license, with yes. a, not to light license, with a full-fledged corporate license. Even in light also, it is not available. It's only for the corporate license, it is available. Under the spotlights. Which is the second thing? Can you explain again? Which one? The second, uh, what you said was only the corporate license people can see. What? What is it exactly? That is one feature somewhere. I don't know. I'm not able to find it. Eh? But then you can enable that saying that I'm actively looking out for new opportunities. So, so it is that, for a so candidate. That... Basically, it's for a candidate. When the candidate wants to op is open for a new job, they have two options to click. One option is wherein uh, anybody on LinkedIn can see that. If they click that option, the green badge this comes is up. Anybody on LinkedIn. Yes. So that the green badge comes up there, open to work badge. But if they only click uh, only visible to recruiters with premium license, then they are the recruiters who can see. Not, not even premium on... license, basic license also they'll be able to see. Yeah, but not anybody and everybody on LinkedIn. No, not anybody and everybody. It is only available for LinkedIn. And that batch will not come up. That batch will not come up. That is confidential job seeking. Just try applying for one or two jobs by yourself and then see there will be an option where you'll be able to see that um, enable that you're actively looking for a job. And once that get enabled, then uh, uh, Actually, Shiv, it is there itself. The one which you selected yes. uh, should be there. In, uh, yeah, it is there. If you go further, you it will not come the green. Uh, the way which you showed us right now, in your profile, open to. So if you can just go to your own profile and say, I am, uh, mm. and click on that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, if you click there, looking for a job. If you click, yeah. Just click that. So, good. Scroll down, please. Yeah, see, recruiters only is one Recruiters option only. for LinkedIn ah, members. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how it works. Yeah. It has come here. Now. Even this I am I seen yesterday or today in last two three days. Still, it was not available. Mm. So it's a recent application. So if, if I if I say this only recruiters, then it will be like this. 
If I say only recruiters, then it would be without a green badge. And if I say all LinkedIn member, then it would be with a green badge. There are people who select only recruiter and get the paid version of it to search for a job uh, and actively search. And means uh, in a hidden way, they search for a job. So that's how we can spot because they have a premium badges. All right. So I'll just like this. These two guys have a premium badges. Any doubts, any confusion in this? In people discovery part? Uh, so, a uh, little bit out of this. So, when you go to this hiring, no, uh, I tried it some time back. It is asking me to uh, link to a job posting. Is it like if I'm, I want to enable you hiring? To... Oh, okay. okay. You have to give at least one post which is active. Okay. 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 So that about people discovery. Now coming back to, let's say if I just give Java here. If I click on people, I'm getting all the people and all the filter. Any doubts on all the filters or keywords? Are we good? Yes, sir. we are good. So now let's say I search for laid off. So again, these are the people who mentioned laid off in their companies or anything like that. You can again check these people also, but otherwise not pretty much, but otherwise you can go with the post search. Okay, so all these people writing some content related to the post, but let's say if you're hiring for Salesforce certified developers. Okay, so post, there are people who keep talking about, I've completed my certification like this. Certification like this, certification like this. And this is one other way where you're searching for post, but when people as mentioned, they have completed the certification. Also you're getting a recruiters who are mentioning that they are hiring for Salesforce certified people. And just in case, if you're Salesforce specialist in hiring, then definitely you can also reach out to those recruiters saying that I have a data of candidate. Let me know if you can work together. But otherwise, this is how the post search. You can search for any post, certify any certifications or laid off or any trending trends. That's about the post search. All right. Any doubts on post? How to search for post? Company is pretty much easy. Just search for a company name and you'll be able to get the company. Products, that's a new feature. Uh, then groups. Okay, all these are Salesforce certified groups. Okay, now let's say I just search for Java. And people. And connections, second degree. All filters. Okay, that has gone now. Earlier it was there. But let's say now these are my second degree connections. Is there a possibility that I can send them a message without being connected with them? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Um, yes, sure. Is there anything common between the two? Exactly. So there has to be something common. Either we worked in the same company or a group which is common. So let's say if this is a group which is common. Shrey Gupta. I just go to group. Geek for Geeks. Show all. Search for Shreya Gupta. So, so many Shreya Gupta are there. The third one on the top. Okay, so I can directly message. 
we don't need any premium or anything. So that's the reason, let's see, if you send a connection request to the candidate, but they have not accepted it and you're desperate to reach, then go see what groups candidate is following and join those groups, wait for 24 to 48 hours, and then you'll be free to send the message to the candidate. First, see the candidate, if there are any groups in common. If yes, then go to directly that group, copy the candidate name, uh, show all, and directly you'll be able to send a message. Again, here, one mutual group, KM Ram. But still, the contact details are not shared, right? Uh, contact details are not shared. You're directly sending the message. And again, message, you'll be able to send it. Thank you. I have one question. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I have done this earlier, but I don't know how the receiving end person will receive it. I mean to say, when I go to the groups, common groups, and send a message, Mm -hmm. uh, will it go like a, a normal, will it come in the messaging tab as a message or it's like a message request? I mean, like a, um, it will go like in, uh, in mail or something like that. I mean, how it goes. Let's see. For example, uh, Raghu, for that, actually, yeah. whenever, uh, have you ever got uh, this uh, in mails, in mails from anyone? Yeah, it's like accept something will come. Yeah, you yeah, have accept. to accept someone, right? Correct, there are correct. So there so are the two inboxes, yeah. but let's see. Just give me a second. Yeah. So now let's decode a nested search. Okay, Harish has attended this event. So either it has to be a group in common or some event that you have attended together or you would you both would have worked uh, together. So now let's say four groups in common. I'll say DevOps, SRE, show all. Any which is we are connected. Harish, yeah, yeah, connected in your no. primary. It will come in primary because we are connected. But otherwise, either it will go in under the focus or it will go under the I think Raghu can others. try, I believe. Raghu can try. Me and Raghu so are not. We are also. Oh, okay. Which is common group. Okay, or else temporarily so, we have to remove one. So there are two inboxes. One is focused, one is others. Others. Any yeah. email yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting all this here. Now, if you see these people, these people have sent me uh, the groups that I'm common. I joined some of the groups. Uh, let's say is my first degree now. She is also my first degree. She is my second degree. Okay. So I joined some founder co founders group. Yeah. I think it was an email. It's not a group. Hmm, it was an email. So all the emails, what I get it, I, sorry, this is focused at others. So whatever you see, email, 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 all these emails are coming over here. And just in case, if you use that trick, it might either end up in others or either end up in focused. But most probably it will end up in focused only. Others is mostly for the emails. But again, okay. if it is email, also people do check. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, shoo, you can shoo. send a um, message to anyone on LinkedIn, provided either you have a group in common or you both together attended some event in common. Or if you both together worked in similar company in the past, let's say in case if you have not worked in the similar comp same company in the past, go edit your LinkedIn profile, add that company, the past company, and then uh, what you do is like once you add the past company, wait for twenty four hours to forty eight hours. Again, go to the person profile, see that you both worked at the same company, and then send the message. Yeah, Raghu, you had something. I mean to ask like, uh, will it will it get a pop up? I mean notification, right? Or at least this messaging, no one number will increase when I send. Right? Get it. Why not? Okay, okay, okay. So, so you you are saying that you can misguide, is it, uh, by adding? Huh? What, Anand? No, no. You said no. You can still add the company. 
even if you are not work but that's not the right way of doing it ah, better if you have any group in common that's the better way of doing it if you keep on changing the company linkedin one day will block you ah, hey, this guy right. is not trustworthy he kept on changing the company okay okay so linkedin is pretty much tracking everyone's activity today only i uh, means verified my profile with aadhar card also okay so i'll just take a pause any doubts on how to reach out to any candidate or anyone on linkedin without being connected with them no what did you say aadhar uh, card what did you say verifying you wait for some days it will come to your account also to ask you to verify that this is you with your aadhar card or any government id proof so so, you the, so were you able to do it because in my case i was stuck on the last page no no today i am able to do it finally last time also i tried it but okay. today finally i am able to do it okay. that's when i got this verification stuff yeah even i'll do it today then yeah you will get that other otp uh this one was that it takes you to the digi locker also yes digi locker it took me to this link hyperverge onboarding yeah now it is doing automatically actually in linkedin and then application submitted and thank you for verifying it it was verified completely so earlier it was stacking last two weeks back but i think now it is up now no and it take it showing like verified like uh, instagram or something like verified account something like that no right to the public right this for the public if you see here this one it is oh, verification okay. Okay, okay. about this profile identified verification both the things workplace as well using other verified by hyperverge using other now if you remember today she was sharing one uh, profile which was showing like uh, currently working with apple as a hr and uh, asking for some uh, agency's help right so i think yeah. this verification would eradicate those things yes exactly so this is visible to only for you or visible to even the third party everyone come to my profile just take a look you will be able to see you have to click on about this profile you will be able to see all right so that's about how do you send the message to anyone on linkedin without being connected with them now coming back to the free job posting let's say i just go here jobs i click on free jobs so there are two jobs at the time that you can post to disturb you here one more time so i think we can again send to the people who put that open to work badge also right messages Mm, not sure, but open for that is for the connection. Actually, it's not the message. It it is going no. as message actually. Message also we can message them privately. If you go to click on open to work, there is a message directly to candidate. Then maybe that is also a recent development. Let's see this guy open to work. Show connection. No, I think more. We'll click on show more details. Show details below that. More. Below, below, below more. We have open to work. Show details. Yes, we can message from here. message vignesh yeah this one also but let's see ha huh? it's going as message only yeah this is perfect way again all right this option is for uh, people uh, someone who is open to work. okay okay open to work you need to click on show details and then you have to okay this is one of the question in our test paper is there a possibility of sending a message to anyone on linkedin without being connected with them 
and that answer is open ended you have to write that answer in fact, one one test definitely which will be completely open ended where you have literally have to write every answer and it will be reviewed manually uh, that is i'm still in a process of preparing but yeah another one to two weeks one test where you have to write it manually and then i'll review it and then based on that we can give a passing score yeah Nita. No, Shiv, I, I was just giving you a thumbs up on the open-ended test paper. Yeah, definitely. Open-ended test paper, it's in process uh, for sure. Uh, as I mentioned, most of us passed level three because of level two, but not really because of level three. But I'm not going to leave really. I'm going to make it another test, level four, which is one, open-ended where you'll have a lot of JDs and you'll have to write the nested searches for that requirements. And I'll review those nested searches, whether it is right or wrong. All right. And then another definitely, um, it will have a combination of options and it will also have a combination of that you have to write nested searches. I thought of doing this in person for people in Bangalore, Hyderabad and uh, if we have more than 10 people in Pune, I would be happy to travel because I have a client where I'm going to complete the trainings for them in coming three to four weeks. So anyone from Mumbai and Pune wanted to join in Pune, then definitely if we have more than 10, I would love to do that as well. But otherwise, for Bangalore and Hyderabad, pretty much in. So anyone uh, who are in Bangalore, here do we have at least 10 people who are in Bangalore? Vinaya, yes. So first tell me Bangalore, who are in Bangalore? Okay. Just raise your hands. I am in Bangalore. Yeah, just raise your hand. Bona. Rajeshri, you are also in Bangalore, right? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. We'll do kind of an event and then I'll tell you. Nowhere, just beside my house, there's a nice resort. I can call you over there also. We can definitely do it. That would be more of one-on-one -on -one event. Well, you stay here, Vartur, right? Vartur. Yeah. So that's much cost-effective as well. We're going to be on week weekend. We can also take a visit. Not this weekend. We'll see after the completion of... All these models. This almost we have completed the Google and nested search is somewhere. I see a lot of people did not answer it correctly. So definitely the new paper I roll out. So that we really sit and do that practice. This is where my request comes in. So can you show us one how to do one nested search with one uh, JD? Like how to go about it? It's not just about the JD, but see. No, like when we see a JD, JD how to approach it. Keywords and... does not have a, see, hmm. nested search is basically for the keywords, huh. which are open-ended, which have a 10 variations of writing it. Yes, yes, yes that I know. Okay. Now, hmm. if you see here, hmm. no SQL has a 10, 30 no, variations so that, of writing it. That would be like how a candidate would write it. With that thought process, we would write it, uh, means different combinations of keywords. We would exactly. use them. Good. No, but when we see a JD, right, like uh, how, like must have keywords, uh, all that, how we can approach it. If you can just show one example in any upcoming sessions, it would be great. Before you can see this example only. I wanted Java with any of the cloud, either any public cloud, either Azure, GCP or AWS and any one NoSQL. NoSQL, hmm. NoSQL, 10 ways of writing NoSQL or MongoDB is NoSQL, Mongo Space DB is NoSQL. Mongo mm. hyphen tip is NoSQL, Cassandra, CouchBase, Redis, Neo4js, HBase, DynamoDB, DynamoSpace DB, Dynamo hyphen DB, CouchDB, Couch hyphen DB, CouchSpace DB, Raven DB, Raven hyphen DB, Raven Space DB, Orient DB, Orient Space DB, Orient hyphen DB, Arango DB, all these are NoSQL databases. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, see, this is I again not a nested. Yeah, straightforward search. Ah, this is a straightforward because we know that we need Java and some cloud exactly. and some no SQL or SQL. So in nested exactly. searches, when we were doing the test, right, we it was so complicated. Like we took, I mean, like how I approached now it. Now see, no, here software engineer or software developer, huh. these are 20 ways of writing titles. 
to nest it, I would write it in this way. This is a straightforward of writing it. But hmm. if I want to nest it, I'll nest it in this way. Okay. Yeah, so Lukesh. The, for practice, it would be better first we write how we write it normally and then we try to nest it. Is nested, that... Mostly for title, but yes, for keywords also. If hmm. you ask me, I've shown you in past also. Hmm. That understood what contact center is, all that thing, and have to sit for a couple of hours and understand the various ways of writing contact center that the people might write. And this is where I came up with this huge nested search. But yeah, it took around three to four hours because oh. I need to understand how uh, exactly this contact the, center can all be the written. Worked on. So you sat and did a research of how contact center would be written in so many different ways exactly okay so i experienced uh, recently with the uh, uh, visage of uh, uh, finding the profile uh, you uh, messaged to me for uh, uh, practice so um, so that was like really a um, good one but um, i couldn't able to do the keywords um, because you said like it, it won't come in one day but it won't uh, come in one day it's over a period of time efforts yeah, and even uh, the first uh, first uh, profile I need to submit uh, by putting a lot of keywords inside and then only I can able to make it, right? Right, so, but that's how you practice it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I use the uh, chat GBT. Um, so uh, will, will it give the uh, minimum number of uh, keywords? Is that enough for the um, starting stage? No, if you want to elaborate, ask ChatGPT. Give me more alternatives. It will give you. Okay. And then you put all those keywords in combination of and or not with the uh, nested searches and not, and search for the profiles. But Visage to improve your sourcing and to make money, Visage is one of the best platform. Till that okay. I ever experienced. The best uh, requirements you will get it. All the tech, non-tech. And the screening process is very stringent. How much are they paying, by the way, now? Earlier, it was $1 for one resume. Uh, I didn't know, Shiv, because I'm just uh, doing the trial uh, role. Uh, okay. the trial, they give just 10. Uh, so, uh, they allow us to submit 10 profiles. 10 profiles so first. Got... And if you score 80%, yeah, if 80, 80%. 8 profiles are shortlisted, then only they onboard you. But I got only 5 got uh, okay. So, I got uh, rejected in that. But I think you can apply after some time as well. So they yeah. don't pay for the closure, right? No, no, so it's only for the resume submission. Bonus yeah, yeah. for the first uh, trial uh, trial room. No, no, it's only for the resume submission. One dollar they pay. Oh, okay. So uh, for, for you don't that, have to talk to candidate. Experience... Nothing. They just give the quality profile with the email ID. That's it. You'll get that one to two dollar per resume. Oh yeah, but um, when I from that only I experienced. Uh, but even five in five in profiles got okay means I think it's, it's still good Ganga. Oh, that I can tell you, because thank the kind you. of oh, the ten profiles they need, I know what kind of profiles they need. Those ten profiles, uh, even sometimes experienced people get failed. Okay, oh. but if you got five profiles in a first go, I think it's a good achievement. Oh, thank you, Shiv. But. Uh, what I experienced is uh, I tried to do with the LinkedIn. I got really zero results due to uh, uh, when I asked like uh, very less connections. But I I thoroughly uh, did with the uh, CSC. Um, mm. Google, uh, that really helped me. And um, I did it in two hours. Uh, you can believe me or not. It, I did. Uh, I just did the CSC in half an hour and I searched all the profiles in two hours. CSC power is just amazing. You follow the basics, whatever we covered, you'll see the magics happening. Yeah, really, it is really good. Uh, yeah, it is. It was really awesome, and I didn't expect uh, I can able to make that much. It's thank no, you. So even much. I'm telling, if you got a five shortlist also, as a fresher, uh, that is still an excellent achievement. Is definitely what I can tell you. Which website are you? Thank you. Research. 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 Research recruitment. You just have to submit the profile. And if your resume is shortlisted, and you get super niche roles. Nice role, easy roles also, super niche roles also. 
but someone who has worked on visage requirements someone who has worked on visage requirement for one year i will blindly hire them for which or the company i would work for that good those people are so they pay percentage wise or how how do they pay the us side sir during pandemic i thought my wife about this sourcing she she joined research she started earning at least 2 300 a week dollars my wife learned sourcing from the very first batch when i started pandemic she was also getting bored i was also getting bored i just thought okay fine let me just give back let me start first batch over second batch she joined she upskilled on sourcing and she joined this visage and she was arams able to make 100 150 usd per every week then after that again no pandemic again she went back to the teaching field but yeah visage as i mentioned someone who has worked on visage amazing roles you you'll be able to source for and they'll only pay only if you profile is shortlisted by client and every feedback will be given on each and every profile once it is shortlisted you will be paid 1 dollar now it is 2 dollar i believe it's i'm talking about 4 years back it was 1 dollar you know it shortlist right i mean once once they hire you i think all the profiles is upload is it shortlist shortlisting also condition is there it was only shortlisting there. only resume shortlisting no hiring no nothing Resume submit right? resume. This resume has to be shortlisted by hiring manager for the further steps. Oh, okay. This is US. Okay, whether that candidate is interested, not interested, that is none of your job. Yeah, yeah. Resume is good. Profile is good. Do I have email ID? Yes, email ID is there. I'll see. Okay, profile is matching my requirement. Reach out this thing, that thing. I'll do. But I'll pay you one dollar. I'll take that lead. You know, I tried it almost uh, three or four years back. Three years back, it was. I mean, it was three years back. Now I yeah. started getting some of the clients who are paying me that around three to four dollars. They're talking about uh, for each profile. We give the quality profile one profile, and they'll pay us three to four dollar for one candidate. Uh, but again, bandwidth is not there. I said maybe three to four dollars too less. Rather, I'll work on a closer. But otherwise, lead to not say to work. If someone is ready to pay ten dollars per resume, I would be really happy to take up the requirements. and there are people who are ready to pay you 10 dollar per resume i was able to crack for 4 dollar per resume is it a company shoe or like your own uh, uh... company okay. in us only okay no no i mean i mean to say you asked you found this client or is it like a global platform like wisage No, no, I found okay. it. Okay, you found it. You found it. Okay. Okay, that's where the profile so optimization comes. I have a question regarding that LinkedIn verification. So, did it get stuck at the photo capture stage? Last time also. No, for me, it was smooth this time. Okay, so uh, how long does it take to capture the photo? Mine was. It will take immediately in the second Excel photo taken. Okay, all right. Okay. Shiv, so I have a question. Shiv, Shiv, I uh, have a question on Google CAC. The questions which you are asking about uh, query yeah. enhancement under keywords, query enhancement under query addition. There is one option which you know we cover. We did not cover web search extra query terms. That's not required. We have not covered that, and there is no question on that. No, but you know there are questions which is asking about. Uh, um, the there are questions which we covered. only on those there is no outer syllabus question the questions are pretty much what we covered okay web search and all you don't really have to get into that one not really required but otherwise the questions are pretty much within syllabus there is nothing that the questions has got out of syllabus all right So yeah, I'll just take a pause. Any further doubts? Ah, uh, Shiv, you said that uh, we can uh, do four-way for uh, diversity sourcing, right? So two mm -hmm. things I found. One is like uh, in keywords we will put the names, and uh, in the school we put the girls' uh, colleges or schools. Right. So what are the other two ways?
title you can give her hers right she her or hers all those things but that will not fetch those many result one is that definitely we are selecting our schools from here second yeah. we are giving a names so yes. here we are writing girl or girls or women's or women's and fourth maybe she her or all those things okay so in the last name section hmm? you are writing it in the last name section Last name, second. And we will get who is written she, her, or another thing. What you can use is like Kumari. <coughs> It could be Kumari, Devi, Kaur, all the oh. things. Like those things, you can use it in the last day. All right. I'll take yes. a pause for today. Uh, let's connect oh. tomorrow and then we'll go over uh, free job posting. And apart from that, uh, personal branding. Stu, I have two questions. Yes, I also have one question. Yeah. <laughs> no, one is not question actually. Uh, like uh, weekend batch recordings uh, you, you shared, right? So hmm. I could found, uh, I went through throughout the chat history. So I could found only one or two only. Yeah, hmm. Can you please put it? Because I could not find it in your... Uh, uh, so what you YouTube, need to do? Just YouTube. click on here. Then, even I don't know where all those, because there are so many uh, recordings. Yeah, it's not there in your, pub, I mean, YouTube uh, uh, playlist or anywhere, right? It's like, I think it's private now. You have to see, you have to click here on the group and then select down and then media links and all. Just click here, then docs, links. In this, you'll get it. Okay, okay. Okay. My second question, Shiv, like uh, using CSE, is there any way for me to find, uh, uh, for example, in US, I'm finding that difficulty. For example, if I say New York, uh, New York City, I want to mm. find within surrounding uh, cities of that. I mean, surround because it may cover uh, New Jersey. It may be within New York. But Understand it, web, on website how things are written. Based on that, you put in the CSC. Okay. Okay. If you're saying New York and within New York, 100 meter, 100 km radius. Understand where in where how it is put. Otherwise, you have to manually or go for chat GPT ask. On the list of cities. locations near New York. And we can use up to 45, 46 locations there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think we have to give boolean string. Oh. No, no, it has pretty much taken earlier, but that's fine. Okay.
we can go with this boolean and then put it in back end of your csc otherwise put see uh, you can't really depend on this chat gpt or ai based tools mm -hmm. because again you see what's happening here it's yeah. always better you just understand how are they working but work reversely and you work by yourself and create a strength by yourself. What you need is list of locations near New York. New York, you already got it. Now you just have to put them into the Boolean and okay. work on it. Yeah. Yes, All right. Yeah, Sangeeta, you had something? Yes, Shiv, that, uh, there was one more topic. How to find the email ID on LinkedIn in less than five minutes. Is that, that will come later. Will do later? That has to be with the tools. Ah, that okay. will come later. Oh, got it. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Then. Thank you. Thank you, Shu. Thank, thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.